Next up we have U test. Thank you. Good evening. Okay. Hi, good evening. I'm Doron Rubini. I'm the CEO and co-founder of UTest. We're a South based startup two years old, so we're celebrating our birthday, founded in 2007. And what we are about is UTest is the world's largest marketplace for software application tests. We supply our customers, which are software companies developing web desktop and mobile applications, with a full range of testing services. Usability, loaded performance, functional, and we do that in a very unique way. We utilize the world's largest community for professional testing. So, a little bit about what we've achieved since we launched in August of last year. So we've acquired more than 170 customers. Most of them are on a recurring basis testing software. Our community today is more than 20,000 professional testers from 158 countries across the world, with a significant global reach. And we really completed more than 700 test cycles across tens and hundreds of different product lines for these 170 customers. So, the value of what we really really do, what we actually do is also called crowdsource testing, is we allow our customers to launch higher end applications because they can get significant coverage across devices, environments, configuration, Vista, Mac, Blackberry, iPhone, etc. We also allow them to get to market faster because they can test within a 24 hour period in a 48 hour period instead of weeks and months where a usual testing cycle would take. And it's a significant cost saving because instead of hiring an additional person for your QA team or signing a long term contract with an outsource provider, you have the capability to use your test on demand. We really cater to emerging growth startups up to complete enterprises. So just to take a quick look at our Impressive customer base. So Google uses us across nine different product lines. Google Voice, Google Sites, Google Books, Google News, Google Mobile, etc. Et but we also work with emerging growth, local, Boston-based startups like the Zell, like Grasshopper. That's on the website. If we look at the desktop side, we test ICQ, we test security essentials for Microsoft. But we also work with startups in the valley, like so. And on the mobile side, the iPhone app from the New York Times, GoToMedia, a local startup, and Tapolos, which, you know, if you have kids, they basically uh, developed the game Tap Tap Revenge 3, which is the most popular game on the iPhone. So, really, a wide range of customers from emerging growth startups to large enterprises. Traditionally, when a company had to choose how they do their testing, they had two options. One, hire, invest in infrastructure. Option number two was to use an outsource in India, in China, in Vietnam. Really what emerged in the last uh, two years that we've been around is the third alternative, which is a force multiplier for curating the cost of work. And that's what we call crowdsource software testing. Due to the fact that we're so new and so innovative and are really changing the landscape of software today, we've gotten amazing coverage from the media side, Business Week for Wire. We also got quite, we were lucky enough to get quite extensive awards. Information Week, Garden Cool Vendor, etc. Et so how does it really work? And obviously the guys upstairs can show you a complete demo of how I can be a tester and how I can be a customer, but at the end of the day, it's all in the software as a service mode. The customer comes into the website, signs up and creates an account, then he chooses what he wants to test, how he wants to test it, and who will test it for it. For it. it can be very narrow, we can say I would like to have German testers in Germany with a BlackBerry device with experiencing social network application, but it can also be very broad. Based on his profile, the testers that meet the criteria are invited to the test by getting email, by getting SMS, 
we actually start testing the report in real time on the real life devices. At the end of the cycle, the customer approves or rejects the executed test script, the bugs that are reported, and we pay our testers. The testers get compensated. So not only the tester gets graded for their work, and the company gets graded for the product, there's a compensation scheme where the actual testers get compensated for the value that they bring. So, last slide. So everybody asked me how does our community look like? So 20,000 professional testers. What you see is that these are real professional testers. So close to 70% of our community have more than three years of experience in professional software testing. Do we have time for a quick demo? No. <coughs> Upstairs, the demo. Yes. So the pricing model is per cycle pricing. So every time you test, uh, you do a cycle testing, this is when you get charged. So you can buy a single pack, a cycle, you can buy a pack, that's how you get a discount. A lot of our customers are on institution based. So they basically iterate and test all the time. And they're on month to month or quarterly or an annual uh, what's what's the price of a, a cycle? It would depend on what it involves, right? Or, I mean, you know, like, it if it's a large depend, site or a small site, right, it would be the it does same. depend on what it involves, but uh, there is what we call a standard cycle. Uh -huh. And a standard cycle includes a certain amount of testers with a certain experience, a certain amount of value, of bugs and reports, and a certain amount of time with the cycle is executed. On average, a cycle costs about $2,000, if it's an average cycle. Okay. Uh, who manages the testing process? In other words, you have tech test leads. I'm sorry, I didn't you have know. test leads. Who manage the testing process, or you just hope that everything falls in the right place? That's a very good question. So, we assign a test lead from U test in order to work with a customer okay. on the first few iteration of testing. So, we assign someone who's called a project manager who works with the customer in order to ensure that the coverage is correct, the right testers are getting invited. But what happens over time is that the customers become completely self sufficient. So, we provide that in order to get the customer up to speed very quickly. But, you will handle white versus black box, test, black box testing? So, we do a lot of black box testing. We do less white box, white box testing. But we also you know, work with customers using our test lead in order to provide white box.